Well, hello there, folks. Happy Saturday to you. And I hope that I find you all very well indeed and you've had a good week and having a good day so far. And thanks for popping over just to see what I got in this week's family food shop. So as you can see, I've gone to Aldi this week. Also got a couple of things in M&S and also a couple of things in Tesco. So we're just under £90. But that does include about £25 worth of things from the local butcher as well. And I didn't get a receipt. It's actually a new butcher that's opened opened up so that's Aldi that's Marks and Spencers like you can see there just a couple of things and then just a few things from Tesco as well so like I said a new butcher has opened up or it's just been newly taken over so I thought I'd give it a wee go so I needed some parmesan cheese I couldn't find any so I've got the grana padano instead I went into Marks and Spencers for this butter and that's all I really went in for we were at friends at the beginning of the week and that was the butter they had and it was lovely some red Leicester cheese and then some small snack and cheese as well i got the mild cheddar and the mature cheddar as well these are lovely you know just to have for in your bag for on the go because i like on the go snacks a couple of layered yogurts and then a couple of the larger pot yogurts and these ones are really nice we get those most weeks a white a white cabbage i haven't had one of those for ages and also a wee sweet as well and yes yeah, some balls of doom for the side of something and then some cherry tomatoes for a pasta sauce that I'm going to be doing some sweet mini peppers. Again, these are lovely for snacking on. I'm just about out of carrots. So I've got a big bag of carrots. And also, I think I've got about one onion left. So i got a bag of onions. A big bag of our usual tatties. And I do like these ones. Those make lovely mashed potato. A basil plant for the pasta sauce that I'm doing. And also a parsley plant. Because I, I chuck parsley on everything when I've got it, obviously. And then some bananas as well. And then a head of broccoli. And I'm going to be doing campfire stew. And the recipe that I'm going to be following calls for, what is it, Italian sausages. I couldn't find Italian sausages. So I got these and I thought these would be quite nice because they're not your normal kind of sausages and they're going to be quite flavoursome. So I said, I'll try those. A four pack of sweet corn and also a four pack of baked beans. Yeah, we go through those. <laughs> we do go through those. Some shortbread there. And I didn't realise there was quite as much shortbread in here as there is but you know this will not go to waste but there are quite a few rounds of shortbread in here you just snap that into triangles a couple of chicken and mushroom pucka pies and then mr watts for tea went into m&s for the butter and picked up two of these as well i prefer the chicken and mushroom but the girls prefer the creamier pies a couple of jars of orange marmalade and then some cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper. So I got a couple of jars of that and then some fennel seeds for the campfire stew that I'm going to be doing. And then some hot dogs. I always like having these in the cupboard. They make a really quick, nice wee lunch. You know, just pop them on a roll. Some cooked chicken for sandwiches. Some tomato puree for the campfire stew. And some of these bin liners for the food caddy. These wee bake at home rolls we haven't had for such a long time and they are lovely, you know, just with soup or even on their own with a wee bit of butter. You just pop them into the oven for about 10 minutes and they come out really warm and fluffy. Some of our jacket potatoes we haven't had for a wee while. That's the frozen ones. And then I got, I'm starting to get Christmas bits and bobs. So I saw these two rolls of wrapping paper and I thought they looked really nice. I'm going to be doing mostly craft paper this year. So I've seen this brown craft paper with the gold stags on it and I thought this was really unique. And then the candy stripe paper, I needed an extra long roll of paper. I've got a couple of big boxes that I'm going to be wrapping up. So instead of using two rolls, you know, of the normal stuff, I got this extra long one. And I thought the wee red tags would go really nice with that. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> a bag of chips for the freezer and also a bag of frozen peas for the freezer. Something else I go through really quickly. As you know, and the same with the garlic bread, it just disappears from this local butcher, the new butcher. I got some chicken fillets. I got a steak pie, which is a wee bit dearer than our, our normal butcher. A wee mince round as well. Some pork links, which are a lot bigger than our normal butcher. And then some square sausage as well. And that was everything that I got. So yeah, fabulous. And that will see us through for about a week 
and a bit. Just before I move on, I wanted to say, as usual, a huge thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos, you know, I'm just so lucky to have built up such a wonderful community and I really do you know, I, I do mean that, you know, I just love reading your comments and responding to you, but I'd love to be able to respond to more of you, but as you can imagine, there are just so many now, but I do read probably about 80, 85% of them, so chances are I have read your comment. If you're not following me over on Instagram yet, I'm what's for t 3 over there, and it would be lovely to see you, because more and more are coming over every day but obviously that's if you are over on instagram yourself so i'm going to go off now and wish you a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you back tomorrow for meals of the week so mind to take care of yourselves and i'll see you off as soon back here on what's for tea bye now